Hey everybody, I'm Psychroclasm, and apparently speedrunning for Project Feline is going to be a thing now, so I feel a little bit obligated to defend my title. So, currently it looks like the best time for the test level is 12.98 seconds if you get all points, and then for the V-Slice level it's 9.32 seconds, which is almost half of what my best time was, but that's not getting all points. So I think what I want to do today is establish... A, that I'm better than these people, and B, <laughs> that uh, I just want to establish times for all different ways of running through it. Because I've gotten sub three and a half seconds on the test level if I'm not worried about points. So let's see exactly what we can do and see about routing faster ways through it. Because 9.32 seconds is mind boggling to me. Like, I can't even imagine crossing the gap in 9.32. This is crazy, because they're not videos, they're not posting videos, they're posting images of their times, and I really need to see how this is possible. Alright, so I'm just going to hop into the test level first, just because I'm already in a groove for it. But I've already done sub three and a half seconds, so this shouldn't take me that long. If you need to reset, dying is obviously the quickest way. That's 3.53, and I made several mistakes. Let's go again. 3.89, still too slow. Ah, damn it. The fastest way to reset is to just fall into a pit. I think the biggest problem I've had routing this, though, has been the fact that you stick to the walls. Like that is no that's no input for me. Like as soon as I hit the wall, I just keep running. So if there's a way to disengage from the wall, that'd be pretty cool. And I have no way of telling exactly when the level's gonna reset, so I just kinda have to press the input I want to start with and go with it. Ah, oh, that would have been perfect! Damn it! Yep, see, I'm stuck to the wall. That's been my biggest problem with this so far. <laughs> I wonder if I can jump straight to the ramp and completely ignore the speed pad. 3.38. That's, that's a match for my best time. I don't need that. 3.32. It looks like the pad might be the better option. So let me see. Yeah, I overshot it by a lot. Honestly, I think the hardest part of this is that you have to do it blind. Sub three seconds! See, if you're not quick on the draw, you lose seconds just by virtue of not being, like, aware of the world. <laughs> Ooh, I just had an idea. I might be able to shave some time off of this. Because I forgot about the checkpoint system. So, it's at 7 seconds right now. The checkpoint resets the timer. So, if I can hit the checkpoint within a good amount of time... I might be able to cut some seconds off of this. Or maybe not some seconds. There's literally two seconds. Two full seconds to work with here. And eh, 2.98. That's that's worse than what we had before. Maybe going to the checkpoint is going to waste time, actually. Yeah, going to the checkpoint wastes time. I think sub three is probably going to be the best I can do. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to swear to that because I'm gonna somebody's going to beat my score and then I'm going to have to go back and beat them. But then we're going to work on doing this with all the points. And I think there's 16 points, judging by the scores. 
Ah, damn it. I missed it. I missed one. 1450. Alright, let me let me see what that puts me up to. Okay, so 1600. That's where I got the 16 from. So 1600 is the amount of points I would need to have. Alright, here we go. I'm shooting for 12 seconds. Which seems fucking impossible. Ha, <laughs> damn it, I keep getting stuck. Okay, so that was 12 seconds. That's not that bad, actually. I, I was wrong about that. Okay, 1345. That's not bad. It's not a play that's not a bad place to start from. I can definitely cut a second off of my time just based on my fuck up of going around here. See, I fucked it up again. Damn. But I know there's seconds to shave off here, or at least time. I won't say seconds. I think what I've really got to get down is the transition from pole one to pole two. Because my biggest problem, I think, switching on the second set of poles is getting low enough. Because I come off of this, like, really high, usually. See, even that, like, I was below the level of the beads, and it was still too high. It was still almost too high. So i got to figure out how to cut my, like, height going from one to the next. And going backwards around it might be the solution to that. Damn. That would have been a good run if I hadn't been too high. Shit. Off the wall, off the wall, jump across, land the pole, land the ground, fuck it up. Jump across, jump across, hit the ground, go up, go across, too high, damn. Alright, so let's think about this, because you're going to have to do part of this blind. So what you should have when coming out of this area is 1050, and then we've got this. Does it automatically transition me from one pole to the next? It does indeed. Okay. Oh, God. That was a perfect opportunity, and I fucked it up. Ugh. All right. The most reliable way i found of doing that last set of two pillars is to go around it backwards. Because you ha you're not in control of the transition, and I can't kill my momentum enough to actually go around it the proper way. So what you need to do is do it this way, not that way. Not that way! See, the problem is you build up speed every time you transition, and you're not in control of when you transition. If you're close to a surface, you're going to transition whether you like it or not. And that's good if you're just trying to get, like, a good flow going, but when you're specifically trying to collect all the points, it becomes very frustrating. On the ground. That works, too. Okay, so we're at 12.93 and I missed two, but that's the basic gist of what I'm trying to accomplish here. God damn it, that would have been perfect. We beat it. We beat it. 1237. And I can still do better than that. I can still do better. Woo! 
Okay, that's better. And I'm gonna stop. <laughs> okay, so what I found out is that camera angle is super important to whether or not the ca whether or not a wall will catch you. Cause see, I'm facing directly at the wall and it does nothing. Well, except for that one time. <laughs> but directional inputs do. So that's what creates, um, I won't necessarily say a problem. I guess it creates a solution for us right here. Cause if I need to kill momentum, I need to aim directly at this post so I can fall to the ground until I hit my correct height and then I can go around it based on where I am at the time and then of course getting the wall is hitting the wall at just the right spot is almost a matter of luck once you're going that fast but I'm done with this because I've beaten the best time and now we're going to go to v-slice because I have no idea how in the hell they got down to 9.32 seconds. So we're already at 5 seconds. Like, how? How is that possible? I just had a thought. And it's based on knowing the layout of the level. Like, you wouldn't normally think to go this way. Okay, that's not working. Hang on. Okay. So what would be the best way to go about this? I can't fit through that gap. I'm going to work this one backwards and see what I can find out. No, oh, there's no way. Nine seconds? There's just no way. See, it's already 11 seconds, and that was... That doesn't make sense. That just doesn't make sense. Okay, I might have something this time. Okay, so I've been able to achieve my original best time by going through the level in a legitimate way. So what I'm thinking is building up speed is going to be the key, and it's getting really annoying that I have to go back to the main menu every time I want to restart this level. Okay, so I beat it. <sighs> okay. I I've been doing this for a while. Alright, so check this out. The quickest way I've found to do it is I thought I needed to hit this to, preserve to gain momentum, and I don't because the slide mechanic will give it to me. So I can slide, and then, of course, what you saw me do was rely on a glitch. But I'm going to try and go through it without activating that glitch so you can see exactly what we're going for here. So you want to jump as early on that hill as possible. Because what you're going to try and do is preserve height. Okay, lost a frame there. Not sure what's going on. All right, so what you're going to do... Ugh, come on. Now I can't do it. I've been doing it for 30 minutes and now I can't do it. So you jump from high up on the hill. And what should that what that should do is allow you to just blast through this hole. Come on. Okay. That was kind of what I was going for. 
So we built up a little height here. Ugh, come on. So we build up a little height. <laughs> come on! Don't be a dickhole! Anyway, it's supposed to build up enough- God damn it! There we go. That's what I was looking for. Ah, fuck. Anyway, it builds up enough height for you to slim- for you to go through that hole. And what I learned is that the slide mechanic is very useful and very frustrating. Let me show you something. Because the slide mechanic, as you can see, looks really cool, and it makes me go faster. But if you do it in the air, you drop straight to the ground. Like, there's no air slide, there's no, like, there's no sliding before you come in contact with the ground. So what you have to do... Is slide when you come in contact with the ground to maintain that momentum. Because if you, if you hit the ground, you lose all that bitch... <laughs> bitch talk built up glitch momentum that you get from jumping from wall to wall. I don't know if it's a glitch. Maybe it, maybe it is a feature, but building up ridiculous amounts of speed has been what's been really helpful here. Hit the ground, build up speed, hit the wall, hit the wall, slide again to maintain speed, and then slide again. And that way you're getting pretty much as good as you can. I still don't know how I would build up enough momentum without the momentum gaining glitch from air hopping. But the point is we beat it. <laughs> but that's my route. Uh, it, go with that and see what you can do. All right, so we're gonna try and get all of the points in this level. And I'm honestly not sure where they all are anymore. Because I know there's two paths through the level. And I'm skipping over one right now. And I'm already starting to think that maybe the other one is the one I want to go with first. Oh, I forgot about these. Okay, so there's those. Alright, so we're just going to get a point total for this level. That's the other annoying thing about... That's the other annoying thing about the crouch, it, or the other annoying thing about the slide, is it ends in a crouch. So if you don't jump before you're done sliding, you're just kind of stuck like this, because you can't jump out of this. For some reason. I'll be a pain. I'll be a dick in the ass, cause uh, the crouch thing just proved useful. I can kill my momentum as I'm coming around that corner, so I can make the turn into this easier. Okay, and so down here. Okay, and we have to boost off of this. There's no two ways about that. Assuming I haven't missed any, it looks like 2550 is what we're looking for, or 51 pieces. So I don't, I'm not going to try, I don't have anything to beat, so I don't know what's good, but I'm going to try my best to set a decent baseline with this.
Okay, that's a problem. So it looks like sliding there is going to be a problem. But sliding backwards is our best way to kill our momentum going back into this. Alright, so that's 51 seconds, and I know I can do better than that. Well, it looks like I can actually shave some time off by doing... Crouch jumps. That's interesting. Ooh, that's one way to do it. That saves me one trip back. So 41 is about as good as I'm willing to do. I know I could probably shave off at least two seconds, but that's a good baseline because I have nothing to shoot for. But I'm pretty happy with my results today. <laughs> it's taken me about two hours, but I think I've done a pretty good job of routing Project Feline. So until somebody beats my scores, and until the next video, stay safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you around. Bye. Let's go. Let's go.